The change of seasons can be really, really hard for people who struggle with their mental health. Winter months can lead to more depression and the shift to spring can actually lead to more bipolar episodes. For a Healthy Mind Matters, new specialist Ayana Likens shares one woman's story of learning how to manage her bipolar disorder. I'm going to have you look all the way to your left. Celeste Gibson loves to help people through massage therapy. That's a big thing for me. Um, not having somebody to help me um, get the results that I want in the past has really pushed me to help others. Celeste says she needed that help when she was diagnosed with bipolar disorder at 15. I was like, that, that can't happen. Dr. Kristen Francis, a psychologist at Huntsman Mental Health Institute, says bipolar disorder is when someone has episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. And mania is a unique set of mood symptoms that's characterized by a decreased need for sleep. So people don't sleep and they feel great. Dr. Francis says mania can present itself through more risky behaviors, personality changes, making a lot of new goals, or spending more money. So a really hard thing for people with bipolar disorder is that when your brain is hypomanic, manic, you don't often recognize it. Um, you feel really good. In fact, you might feel great, especially if you've just been coming off of feeling depressed in the winter. And Celeste says she can attest to that. She says the change in seasons have led to more manic episodes for her, including less sleep and spending a lot more money. I always say April and May, like the worst time, like worst months of my life. Um, and that's typically because I'm so erratic um, and so, well, just not clear-headed at all. Through the years, she says she's learned to recognize when she feels a manic episode coming. Definitely my body tells me, and being able to connect more with my body has helped me a lot in that aspect. To cope, she says she does pottery, yeah. plays with her dogs, and tries to get more sleep. She says she recommends others to find time to prioritize their mental health. It is very easy to over pour your cup and then give it all away. And that just leaves you with nothing. And at the end of the day, you still need something so that you feel good about waking up the next morning. She says the stigma surrounding bipolar disorder made her nervous to tell people about her diagnosis, but she never let it hold her back from following her dreams of owning her own massage business and hopes others will help end the stigma as well. Now I'm like, I'm totally fine to tell people um, and I think they see me in a very different light. They're like, wow, she owns a business. She's like running stuff. And you just have to be able to cope and do better with it. For Healthy Mind Matters, Ayanna Likens, KSL 5 News.